We had a competition in Slade's Family Farm and we will have the same competition everywhere we go that whoever can come up with the best idea for our science bus will be added to the science bus and the winner at Slade's Family Farm was Rhiannon and her idea of the Bunsen burner. Well done once again to Rhiannon uh, who was the winner of our stick competition in uh, Slade's Family Farm Fun Day. Uh, we want to apologize for the lateness of our videos. We realized that the festival was on Sunday, uh, but due to uh, mishaps with the Wi-Fi and internet on our travel so far, we've been a bit slow being able to upload the videos. Um, but to talk about our first workshop, which was really great fun, by the way. Um, fantastic, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very busy. Um, all of our workshops were pretty much full and um, we had a lot of uh, people come to talk about uh, the bus with us and what, what was it doing and what was the idea behind the project. Yeah, people are really, really interested in well, what, what are you guys here for and what is the science bus so it was great to get the name out there and as we said we had our first workshops but <laughs> being first there was a few small hiccups. <laughs> So as Claire said, we ended up with full workshops, but we actually weren't signed up for full workshops, so we had to go around the festival and drum up a bit of encouragement and a bit of support to fill them. And as such, though, we ended up using most of our spare jars because people just didn't have them with them because they didn't know we were going to be there necessarily. Um, what else? What else happened? Well, one of the major things that happened first of all was that we realised we didn't have uh, power to oh, yeah. all of our hot plates <laughs> because uh, the science bus is European, uh, ba has European based adapters, um, or plugs, sorry, and we were using an adapter for the socket inside but it was only a 3 amp fuse I think I was think it? so yeah and all, all of the power uh, required for the electronics is what is it 10 or 12? or more or more uh, so we uh, had to have a bit of a hack there to actually get power to all the hot plates in the end so it worked though it worked yeah exactly um, I think everyone got involved and it was a great workshop and we can see a clip of it now what you did tell putting me your yogurt putting the yogurt in yeah. Good bacteria, isn't it? Oh. Good bacteria. Gross. And how much have you got to put in a bit? Um, okay. Got in. Good there. 16. So you can see there are some of the people who took part. We all had the lab coats on. It was absolutely great fun and it was such a lovely day. Um, I should apologise for the video quality. I was messing around with the camera earlier in the day and we gave the camera to, the, to our volunteers to help and take footage. Uh, I forgot to actually turn it back to the regular settings. So, um, apologies, but um, it was absolutely fantastic day. Yeah, and I think uh, a lot of people enjoyed it from uh, what we heard from them. Have you finished now? You made your yoghurt. Yep. What have you got to do with it now? We've got to keep it warm. We need or to. It's uh, 4 to 24 hours to stick yoghurt. Oh, and is it thick yoghurt or thin, thin yoghurt? You've got thick. You've got thick. Because I'm not really a fan of thin yoghurt. Yeah. No, I think I'll be the same. Yeah. And did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. And randomly, I actually was a judge for a children's fancy dress competition <laughs> where I got to hand out the prizes to uh, the kids with the best costumes. And in second place, Raphael. Yeah. Overall, it was a fantastic day out, great start to the programme. We really enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We had a fantastic time. And we're really looking forward to all the coming workshops over the next couple of weeks.